Maayong nga aga sa tanan ng mga kauturan dira sa Iglesia sa Balasan. Ako si Pastor James Amado dira sa San Francisco, California. Isa gini ka tumalagsahon nga kay Giyonan sa pagtameo sa tanan ng mga nag-celebrar sa ila birthday sa sining nga bulan sa Oktobre. Kagsubong man sa paghatag sa pagpasalamat sa Gino sa isa naman katuig nga gindugang niya sa inyo nga kabuhi. Layawan gid ang Diyos sa iya nga walay pagbago nga kalooy kag pagigugma sa inyo tanan. Tugutin niyo ako sa paghambal sing malipot. Ang uh, minsahe na nungod sa mga rason sa pagpasalamat. The book of Psalms 104 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. You know, my friends, we can lift up our thanks privately anytime. But there's something very special about gathering together to express gratitude to our God. So I think at the end of this message, I encourage those who are celebrating their birthdays this month of October to say a one sentence word of thanks to, to our God who provides you another year to serve Him. So, at this time, let me share to you seven reasons why we need to be thankful always, even in all circumstances that we have been through. First, we thank Him because of His perfect love. Psalm 106.1 says, Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Second, We thank Him because of His provision. Philippians 4.19 says, And my God will supply every need of yours according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Third, we also have to thank Him of His protection. Psalms 34.7 and 8 says, And the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear Him, and He delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in Fourth, we also have to thank of His patience. Second Peter 3.9 says, The Lord is not slow to fulfill His promise, as some count slowness, but, in, but He is patient toward you, not wishing that anyone should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Fifth, we also have to thank Him of His peace that passes all understanding. Philippians 4.7 says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard, your, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Sixth, we also have to thank Him of His promises. Did you know that the Bible has more than 5,000 promises? And one of my favorite verses about His promise is in Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And finally, the seventh reason why we need to be thankful is because of His plans for us. Of course, Jeremiah 29:11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Now that you have the seven reasons why we need to be thankful, Remember, because of His perfect love, His provision, His protection, His patience, His peace, His promise, and His plans. It is also my desire that being grateful must be seen in our lives each day and be a part of our lifestyle. Let me share to you a story I read across one day, and it is all about the old man who sat on the steps of a building with a hat by his feet. He held up a sign which read, I am blind. Please help. There were only a few coins in the hat, spare chains from the folks as they hurried past. However, a woman was walking by, and she took a few coins from her pocket and, and dropped them into the hat. She then took the sign, turned it around, and wrote some words. Then she put the sign back in the man's hand so that everyone who, who walked by would see the new words. Soon the hat began to fill up. A lot more people were giving money to the blind man. That afternoon, the woman who, who had changed the sign returned 
to see how things were. The old man recognized her footsteps and asked, Were you the one who changed my sign this morning? What did you write? The woman said, I only wrote the truth. I wrote what you said, but in a different way. I wrote, Today is a beautiful day, but I cannot see it. Both signs spoke the truth, but the first sign simply said the, the old man was blind, while the second sign conveyed to everyone walking, walking by how grateful they should, they should be to see. You know, my dear friends, when your life seems full of troubles, it seems difficult to maintain an attitude of gratitude, doesn't it? Most of the times, we focus more on our own problems, like a blackened storm cloud casting a dark shadow over our lives. At the times when everything just seems to be going smoothly, we often take those precious moments for granted too, don't we? When we are caught in the midst of, the, of prosperity, comfort, and convenience, we simply forget to be thankful. Finally, I want you all to remember this. Being grateful is a way of looking at the world and all the good things in it with a feeling of appreciation regardless of whether or not your current situation is, is to your liking. My dear friends, gratitude is a heart-centered approach to being at peace with yourself and with all you have. When you practice this feeling of gratitude, it attracts even more things in your, into your life for which to be grateful. Don't forget those seven reasons why we need to be grateful each day. May God be filled with your praise and thanksgiving now and forever. May God's blessings to be upon you all. God bless.